Hello, hello everybody. My name is Sam. Welcome back to Mine Li Minecraft Living Large. We'll be doing a little bit of work in the Nether today. My rail track switcher is working beautifully. It's gonna take us to my Nether fortress where I've been busy. Did go in holidays, as I mentioned earlier, and came back. Played lots of different games, but I've been busy down here. One of my things on my to-do list was a blaze grinder. And with the potion farm and everything else going on, I figured I should make that. So this rail track is now complete. When I made my rail track switcher a few episodes ago, it just didn't go all the way down. But we have the iron to finish it now with the golem farm. Trying out a little tunnel design. I know I'm going pretty overkill with the stone and nether brick, but nothing wood, anything wood out here will burn. Okay, these half slabs, I th thought that might happen. These half slabs here are slowing down the minecart, but if I just push forward, we should make it through. Lots of fires there, because we keep getting shot with gas here, which is the whole reason I put in the tunnel. Ga gas kept blowing up the track. Okay, is that a dangerous place to stop? No, it's not too dangerous. So we got a few wild blazes here as well. Got my bow to pick up any wither skeletons we see. 14 damage, nice. I'm not too wor worried about them. I should be, I don't have a chest plate. So I do have to be careful. You like my colors too? Colors are beautiful, I love the colors. Okay, let's just sneak in here quick. Watch out for anything dangerous. I thought I had portal over here. I do have portal over here. Great. So maybe let's put one over here in case we need a quick escape. So let me just show you what working first and we'll briefly mention how it works. Mm -hmm. it fully off camera. Basically it's the same principle as the ender farm. The blazes float around. Eventually they land on pressure plates. Like we'll hit a piston, push them down here, and then they come to this area. I also built in a closing mechanism, so when I'm up close and shoot, fighting them, I, I can know no new ones will come down. What I was going to do is put in a second row pistons here to crush them, but I'll probably be using a loot sword anyway, and if not, we can just throw a couple damage potions. Now that I have my potion maker, I can start making these pretty quick. Get this lever so it basically just wraps around to hit all four of the all the um all the pressure plates. Let, let me just go show you the principles of how it works. Oh wait, we have a blue portal there. Maybe we'll put an orange one up here. There's tons of stuff in my inventory and my backpack all backed up. I can remember how to get up here. I made it all glass so we could see. So, let's keep an eye out for anything scary out there. Yeah, so the blazes spawn. They fly around for a while. They wander around. If I'm up here or off to the side, they, they may just track me. But if I'm down below, they'll track me down below. And either way, they'll eventually. Whoa. I got shot by a blaze there. And I'm running out of food, too. I got food on my list. But eventually, LG, they eventually they hit a pressure plate and that pushes them off the edge. You can see one row out here. So you get four pressure plates in a row. Nothing in the corner. Four in a row. Again, the same as Ender Farm. And then two pressure plates side by side here. And then a four by four square. So it's a pretty easy setup. And you can see over here, I have, there's another blaze spawner over there. But I just, I just filled it in with cobble. Oh no, gas everywhere. This was a terrible idea. Get me out of here. That wasn't the best escape in the world, but yeah, there's blazes on there. I filled it in with, not cobble, with another rack to make sure that blazes don't spawn from that. So either that's not working or these are just natural spawns. Anyway, I'm really happy with that. It's working really well. Knocked it off my list. Recorded bits of building it, but I really spent a lot of time just derping around. But it works really well. I just didn't bring my looting sword, I don't think. No, this is... Oh, a smite. It's not even sharpness. So, this is not even... None of the enchantments are helping me at all here. 
But we're getting lots of XP and lots of blade rods, and we got that mission done. So it's one more thing to check off our list. We just all we need to do is make the rail system come all the way in. I'd like to come it right into this, right into here. Pretty much skip the whole nether fortress, and then I can fight these guys if I want to. As you can see, I have taken out a bunch of weather skeletons just being out here, which is fantastic. Don't have an enchantment set up here, so I may want to set up an enchanting table at some point. We also need to kill some gas to get some regeneration potions to kill some more withers, because we have a new mod installed today. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. It's not really new. It's actually been installed for a while. I just haven't really used it. Oh man, there's two guys over there. Two skeletons. Let's take them out. I do have smite on my sword. But if we can take them from range, that would be even better. Okay, let's not get knocked off by the blaze. One, two. Oh yeah, smite. Wait, is that power three? Power four and punch. Awesome. No new skull no new skeleton head. Seems like the drop it like it only had a ten percent chance. It's probably more like one in four, but that's a okay with me. They're not too hard to kill if you get your distance. There's just not many of them spawn. So eventually we'll have to build spawning pads or a farming system to farm those guys. Ooh, it's only a pigman. Gold farm we want to do as well. I do want to do a gold farm at some point. I think that's on my list. So let's talk about the new mod. So I know we can make something with this and stable core. Um, yeah, this is what I want to grab first. Uh, this is called Magic Utilities. I've been installed for a while. I think I might have even used something from the mod already. The project table? No, the project table is something else. Yeah, there's oh yeah, there's extra utilities which has the trado mat that I use for trading with villagers. This is extra utilities which adds in basically it only adds in five or six different items. But the bag of air is really cool. Basically, it lets you. It's basically a high jump boots type of thing. So it shoots out a gust of air and it shoots you straight up. This is made with a diamond block, as you can see. Poof, and it shoots you up. So I'm gonna build that. I'm gonna build it off camera though, because building, crafting all that stuff, is pretty boring. You, you need a feather. You need a couple feathers to make it, which you make out of gold and redstone. And then, you, and then you have to put it all together, again with leather to make it and everything else. So, and also, eventually, I want to get long fall boots as well. But we'll get to that soon. Well. I know how much you love watching me craft, but I just went ahead and made it. Seems to work pretty good. So it's a double, it's like the double jump in Terraria. You have a cloud in a bottle, only not limited to one use. So we basically, it's basically a jetpack. Looks like it doesn't consume, well, it might consume hunger. It looks like it doesn't really consume much else. So this is the next thing I want to show you in the mod. I've decided that these towers are going to continue up past the wall. The wall is still going to stay at this height, but I've added a fence here. And then there's a couple of different things I wanted to try over here. So this was my original design that I copied through and I was happy with it at first, but this dark space really bothered me and then this was really plain. I'll live across, just played another rack, which was okay, and then this was sticking out, which looked weird. And then all these big plate injections of stone brick was okay, and then I wasn't sure about the nether brick fences either. I wasn't sure if I should get rid of that or keep it, so as you can see over here, if you <laughs> can ignore the bumping up and down, I tried a few different designs. You know, these plain ones where you just stuck it out, I tried being the fence in the middle. This one was really plain, I tried some lamps. Got some smooth stone. Smooth stone uh, I like the best, but it'll be the most work because I'll have to go through and change it. And I thought this was gonna help me build, but really if I'm bouncing up and down constantly, I'm not gonna be able to be able to replace those two bricks right there. So it's not like I'm in creative mode. 
one thing this mod does, does add is well, there's a couple things it adds. Most of them, I'm not sure what it does. Confuser is probably like a crafting table. It looks like this isn't even implemented in the game. That looks like some sort of some sort of thing that grows plants for you. This looks like you can change day and night. Anyway, if I click on the bag of air, there is a flying ring in the game, which probably works like creative mode, only with it draining some other resource. Thing is, I don't know how to make these nightmare cores. There's no crafting recipe for them in the game. Unless, as I showed before, they're just made with that infuser thing, but I don't know yet. And I don't really know if I want to use it. it seems a little bit cheap. Uh, same as in the extra utilities mod. If you look at the mod where I get the Trado mat, and uh, like if I look in here, like I, I use this, which is amazing. You know, because all the villagers trading in one area, but there's actually a whole bunch of other things it added that and I don't really use, and I'm not sure if I want to use because they seem some of them seem like overkill. You know, angel block and things like that. I also installed Turtle Craft, or sorry, Computer Craft. <laughs> So I thought about using turtles, just because I had so much fun with them on Feed the Beast. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue that. Yeah, sound mufflers, rain mufflers, these are all the extra utilities blocks. Uh, I do want to get these long fall boots, I think. Yeah, tons of cool stuff. That <laughs> And of course, Ugo Craft. I know. I know, so much to do, not enough time to do it in. Let me th know what you think about the wall. I think I still like this better. It's a little smooth stone. It just, I don't know, it just pops out. It makes the whole wall just kind of just pops out, you know? I don't know about the stuff at the bottom, but I think I like it. And then, yeah, and then we're going to have a little balcony space here. This tower is going to go up. It's going to be spaced. And then this wall is going to continue that way. It's going to be another level of wall going up. This one won't be too high, maybe five or six blocks, and maybe some little arse entrances, something like that. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I get with that, because the mob farm is kind of messes up this whole plan. Because this would kind of cut into it. I might have to make a special exception. But then again, it doesn't have to be special, so I might just leave it at that. So, I don't know. Or I might try to get UgoCraft working and just kind of sh shift the entire mob system over like 10 blocks. If these things, because uh, I don't think these things have a limit. I mean, it might mess with the dispensers since they have items inside, but we'll just have to see. But that'll have to wait till another time. So I can't wait to see you guys again and do more in another episode. But for now, I had fun. Oh, this can be just create my fall, can't it? Yeah. One last thing I wanted to show is I also did some work on the sorting system. Well, not the sorting system, on this system. So, still the same. You know, our items are flowing in. But I just made a nice little entrance down here. So it kind of looks nice. Kind of stairways down. And I cleaned up the pipes because I'm going to have a run of the road go off this way. Right down our center line here. Straight down there. I wanted to have everything come in here on two ways. So now, we have, now we have four places where they come in. Look at these un, item pipes nicely pointed in, and all our stuff comes in right about here. Not sure why that's empty, but that's about it. So, hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you find it useful and informative and all that good stuff. So feel free to leave any positive or negative response in the comments. And that's about it. So I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, this is definitely going to be in the way. <laughs> definitely in the way. I'll have to do some, ex maybe next time I'll experiment with, with Google Craft and see how it works with dispensers and redstone. Bye bye. <laughs>